I'm Amy the Bunny Lady, and this is my partner, Elusive, Ellie for short. High five. Good job. <laughs> we got Teddy Bear over here too today. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about how to make sure your rabbit does not panic during fireworks. If you are new to our channel, welcome. We give tips and tricks for how to make sure you have a happy and healthy bunny in your home. So if that's the kind of thing that you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscription button and the notification bell next to it so you never miss any of our weekly videos. So with the 4th of July coming up in America here, that means that we can expect to have a lot of fireworks. Fireworks can be stressful for a lot of animals because they are loud, sudden sounds that don't have any source that the animals can see and it can be a very scary situation for rabbits. This is especially the case for young rabbits or rabbits who have not experienced this very much before. They might not have experienced as many thunderstorms or have had other life experiences that help to teach them to better deal with random loud noises. But older rabbits also sometimes can be very anxious with the sound of fireworks. So it's important to make sure that during this time, you do what you can to help make sure your rabbit feels safe and comforted, then they can get through the fireworks without too much problem. So here are some tips to minimize the effect of fireworks on our rabbits. My first tip is to make sure that your rabbit is indoors during this time. Even if your rabbit has an outdoor run and has time outside or <laughs> or uh, maybe they, they spend some time outside, you wanna make sure that during this time they are indoors. And being indoors, you also want to try to make sure you cover the windows. So put the blind, put the uh, curtains over the windows, close the windows, close the doors, make sure that as little sound can get through the walls of the house as possible. This will all help make sure that the sound is muted and it does not have such a loud impact on the rabbit because there are no barriers in between them that they would have outside. The next tip I have for you is to give your rabbit multiple places where they can hide. Hiding helps rabbits feel safe and secure, especially if they can have like a, a little a little hiding house so they can poke their head out to make sure there's no danger but the rest of them is hidden. Making sure that they have places like that can be really helpful for making your rabbit feel safe and they can end up keeping themselves comforted by hiding away. <laughs> so giving them a couple different options is good. You can use those little cat cubes, the cat caves. Uh, they can be big enough for most rabbits. You can get little hiding dens that are made for rabbits too. Uh, a lot of times these are not made for larger rabbits though, so that's why the cat ones come in handy. But you can even give them like a cardboard box to hide in or even areas such as underneath the sofa can be great places for rabbits to hide if they're feeling scared. Another big thing that you can do that tends to help a lot is to play some kind of either soft music or white noise that can further mute the sounds of the fireworks. Uh, so some kind of soft music like classical music that doesn't get too loud, sounds of nature like the sound of running water, something like that, or uh, even the sound of an air conditioner, a fan, or I have this white noise machine that I use for sleeping. I'll also turn it on when I expect there to be fireworks or some kind of loud noise coming from outside like construction because that can help mute that and keep my rabbits from panicking from the sound. Another thing you can do is make sure that you have distractions ready. Make sure that you have a bunch of toys that your rabbits can play with so that they can be distracted. Um, give them some treats or some toys where you hide treats inside of. That is usually the easiest way to distract your rabbit for a long period of time because they will be using, using their cute little brains to figure out how to get the treat out of the toy instead of focusing on the scary sound that's around. If you have been spending any time training your rabbit, that's another thing that you can do to distract them uh, because they will, instead of being focused on the sound, they will be focused on you and how they can get that treat. And then if it's at all possible, I do recommend that you plan to be home with your rabbit, especially if this is their first time being through any kind of fireworks display. It can be really comforting to have someone that they are comfortable with, someone that they, they trust and feel safe around. It can be very comforting to have you around, especially if you're not making a big deal of it. Your rabbit will understand that, oh, okay, maybe there's nothing scary happening because you know, this person who I trust 
is not scared of it so a lot of times that can really help to comfort your rabbit if you're home you can also pet your rabbit to comfort them give them a nice massage because most rabbits absolutely love to be pet so that kind of thing can also be very comforting to rabbits hopefully these tips will help you out uh, during any fireworks display happening uh, if you're in America probably very soon but even in other countries fireworks happen sometimes hopefully these tips help you out to keep your rabbit from panicking and help them stay calm and happy during these loud blasty sounds if you are interested in any of my merch <laughs> I do have cute t-shirts like this like beware of rabbit and a bunch of other designs that you can check out there's also mugs phone cases masks whatever so feel free to check that out anything that you've purchased does end up helping to keep this channel alive so I definitely appreciate it very much thank you so much for watching and I do hope that we will see you next week